Muslim lady, Muslim man smoking? What is the rule in Islam? Auzu billahi Puffing the devil. Puffing, smoking, inhaling, letting this devil go throughout your system, contaminating your heart, your brain, your blood, your organs with the devil. Wallahi, anyone that smokes, understand this. You are the brother of Satan. I once sat with a friend of mine, Muslim brother, and he was fifty times as my size, and muscles to better color like a cream. And then all of a sudden, I was sitting with him, and he was a sick man. It was absolutely just flabbergasting. This guy, he's got his name in books, his CDs, and DVDs, and all these speakers. Hence. Satanic bear. You know, I used to see when I was a child, you know, the big posters with a man on and he's a cowboy with a big hat and the, the lariat. Oh, what is the lariat? Cowboy in the saddle and the horse and he looks cool. Oh. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy died of cancer, I think. Well, I he actually died due to smoking. Yeah, 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 Shabbat. Yeah, Shabbat. When Allah says in the Quran, Inna al Mubaddirina kanu akhwan al Shiyatin. Listen carefully. The Sedan, the Rifts, the Extravagant, the Extreme, Missed in Spending Money with No Cause are the brothers of the statement of mine. The brothers of the devils. <coughs> so I said to the brother that pulls the cigarette out and blows my eyes away. Oh, the beloved, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you the brother of the devil? I said to him, oh my, straight forward. Yes. Take it easy, man. I said to him, are you the brother of the devil? Yes, I am. I'm praying my prayers on this. Allah says those who spend their money in this mannerism are the brothers of the devil. He immediately crushed it, crushed the whole packet. He had one left. If you see Munka, he change it! If you can off your hand with your tongue, that's Munka! When I was in Saudi Arabia, one of the one of the men that taught us the Quran. He entered one of the circles of knowledge and he was a teacher for that circle. And I was with him. We went in there and we sat down and there was about 50 brothers. He began his introduction. Suddenly a man pulls out a cigarette. He's in front of me. So this shaykh is Ali, may Allah have mercy on him. Suddenly he just stood up. He's talking, introducing his talk. Then he just suddenly stands up and goes outside. No one knows what is going on. So we follow him. He goes, I will not remain in a circle of knowledge or any circle where Allah is disobeyed. That was his response. He didn't say, what are you doing, brother? I was about that in front of everyone. No. He removed himself and he said, until this person removes the filth in his hand, I will not come. It is a major sin because you are first of all, you are spending that which you do not own. Allah gave you that money and you are throwing it in the devil's palm. Secondly, you are committing haram because you are killing yourself slowly but surely.